Who was second at the climb? Was it you? Uh, no comment, Cam. Just feeling the pressure. Don't let those bags go into your spokes. Yeah. Or you. Careful, mate. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Apparently we're heading out to a, well just rolling out now for training, but apparently we're heading out to a big climb today, like a proper climb. I decided it's about time that I started doing some, uh, some of like the, the big sort of known climbs around here, around Calpe. Whilst I'm here, otherwise I'm gonna get to the end of my camp without doing any of like the iconic climbs. We're heading out along the coast today, like we do almost every day. However, except today, the difference is we're heading down south rather than north, down towards Benidorm. Thankfully, we're not gonna actually go into Benidorm. We're just going to ride past it. Then we're going to take a right turn and head inland in towards the hills. I was thinking was we go along to Yeah, that road is shit. And then up that way. This is all the horrible main road. We're not lost already, are we? No, no, no. Oh, mate, we never get lost. What are you talking about? <laughs> I know exactly where I'm going. No motorways today, Ken. Well, that's what we're trying to avoid right now. <laughs> Interesting jersey choice today, Matt. Oh, I'm just going for the plane. I mean, you know, don't get my shorts in here. <laughs> just it's just it's a jersey. So bit, where, of, bit of a colour clash. Where are we going today? What's this climb called? Um, the Port of Two Dons. And I think we're going for the Com attempt, so... Um, really? Yeah. Wish us luck. It's a soft version. Tell us a little bit about the, the climb. Um, how long is it? I don't know how long it is, but it's about 40 minutes or so. Yeah. Um, not steep. mega steep, like 3-4%. Yeah, yeah, the wheels went up it a few years ago. I think uh, that Colombian gadge, what's his name? I think he won the stage. Not, not Quintana, the other one. <laughs> he rode for BMC. Morning. How are we feeling today? Yeah, not too bad. What do we think the chances are? Like, what are our chances of taking this KOM? Well, I mean, I think threshold will be whatever threshold is. So, <laughs> you know, we'll see. I mean, we haven't got the live segments on our Garmin, so we won't know how we're doing, but I'm yeah, hoping for a top 10, that'd be nice. Yeah, I mean, for a top 10, we need to average around 15 miles per hour, which I think is doable. 4%. Yeah. I'm going to put my money where my, where my mouth is and say that that's doable. I'm not actually going to take part in this uh, Strava King of the Mountain attempt. I've got some, well, I've got my own intervals to do. I've got to do four times 10 minutes of VO2 today. So I'm going to let these boys crack on and I'm just going to do my own thing. My, my, I was like, 400 watts average. I was like, fuck sake, we've got 40 minutes to go in. <laughs> that, that was tough. It, it's, it's a long climb. Yeah. Um, we're just we're about a thousand meters in altitude, and we've started from sea level today. So I'm struggling to breathe. It, it is it is quite tough up here, but luckily we're not going up this road here, which is where the Vuelta went, which is another three k up. I couldn't manage that. I'd have to stretch me off the uh, off the mountain. So yeah, I think we potentially, or I potentially got the KOM. Uh, I did it in a time of 41 minutes. Well, around 41 minutes, 10 seconds, depending on where like the segment actually starts and finishes. Previous KOM was 41 minutes and 53 seconds. Uh, we did, we kind of did it as like a team time trial formation. And then as we got further up, the group just got whittled down and down. And eventually it was just me and Luke. I just managed to correct Luke at like 100 minutes from the finish. And um, I came across the line first. Lawrence, you better watch out, mate. I'm coming for you. This race on the cold, the rats. I mean, just still want this to happen. Okay, so now I've had a chance to like, gather my thoughts a little bit and and breathe and bring myself back down to like a normal level. I was supposed to be doing four times 10 minute efforts up that climb. I was gonna do a 10 minute effort. Like, well, I'll do my session basically. And uh, you know, I started to feel pretty good. So I decided to just continue the effort. I noticed that we were on for a, a KOM pace. So I decided to just crack on. We managed to come across the line first. <laughs> Reckon you better pace behind that, Matt? I think I get spat on my current form. Who was second at the climb? Was it you? Uh, no comment, Cam. No, no, it's like, like genuinely. Who was second? Yeah, was it you or was it Luke? Uh, Depends where it finishes. Yeah. And what, what, what was your time? 
I don't know, I wasn't doing time, I was doing watts, sticking to the watts, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 350, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. Oh my god, same here. We might have a new com. What I was getting at there is depending on where the start and finish of that segment was, we potentially might have top three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Clean sweep. That's how we do. The total distance of this route is around 70 miles, which will take us about four hours. We're about three hours into the ride now, and we're into the final hour. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy about that because I'm starting to swing a little bit. That effort, that 40 minute effort, like full gas takes so much out of you. I'm just trying to ride myself in and pace this last hour. I'm suffering. Is it yeah. just me? Or is everyone else after that, after that effort before? After that effort, I think, uh, I think most people are suffering. Yeah, how far have we got to go home? We've got maybe 5k to go, mm, 3k to go home. But I bet okay, that is uphill. <laughs> uphill all the way to the villa. 5k until we get home. That's the best news I've heard all day. Can't play. Oh. I've just arrived home from training. I've uploaded the ride into Strava. Uh, the previous King of the Mountain was led by uh, Reme Met, who rides for the Lotto Sudal team. And as I thought, we um, yeah, I took the KOM. I'm going to put the new the new leaderboard up here right now. As you can see, we cleaned up today. The guys I was out with, we cleaned up with one first, second, third, and fourth place. It's a pretty cool Strava segment to take. Uh, this segment in particular started just off the climb. We rode for a couple of miles and then turned onto the climb and then like did the climb proper. The climb proper uh, was featured in the Vuelta Espana last year and on the official uh, Port de Tudon segment that the Vuelta went over, I am 16th place. I think on a good day and with like a, with a, like a fast lead out into the climb, I can maybe get a top 10. But yeah, nonetheless, I'm pretty happy that uh, that we managed to, to take the KOM. It's always nice going out training with with like a vision to do something and then actually executing that plan and, and it paying off. And I just want to say, I know that getting a fast time on a Strava segment isn't uh, an accurate representation of fitness. It doesn't compare me to any pros. We literally just did this today for the entertainment. And also it's a fun thing to do. It's a motivating factor. It pushes you to go harder up a climb when you know that like there's a chance that you can get a king in the mountain. So yeah, don't take it too seriously. It's all light hard, it's all good fun. But guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow at five p.m.